This is Augustana Sports Scene, a weekly update on Viking Athletics at South Dakota's largest private college. Now, let's catch up on the action and excitement of Augustana Athletics as we roll Augustana Sports Update for this week. Last Saturday afternoon, Coach Jerry Oshevsky's Augustana football team moved their record to 3-1 on the season as they powered University of Mary 52-0 before a Viking Days crowd of 5,621 at Kirkaby Over Stadium. Augustana got out to a 7-0 first quarter lead as sophomore quarterback Trey Hyde hooked up with senior Matt Gary on a 61-yard touchdown bomb. In the second quarter, the Vikings scored on a one-yard run by junior C.J. Ham, a 32-yard field goal by sophomore Lucas Weinman, and on a 34-yard pass from Hyde to sophomore Matt Keller. After taking a 24-0 lead to the locker room at halftime, Augustana kept rolling in the second half. Third quarter scores for the Vikings came on a 29-yard run by C.J. Ham, a six-yard run by senior Dejan Newell, and on a 21-yard pass from freshman quarterback Chase Marceau to sophomore Charlie Hayes. In the fourth quarter, Augustana added one more score on a five-yard run by freshman Jackie Davis. For the game, the Vikings racked up 575 yards of total offense. Dejan Newell led the ground game with 100 yards in 17 carries. Trey Hyde completed 14 of 19 passes for 201 yards while Chase Marceau went a perfect 9 for 9 for 98 yards. Matt Heller was the top receiver with 6 catches for 79 yards, with Charlie Hayes grabbing 5 balls for 56 yards. The Augustana defense recorded their second shutout of the season as they held Mary to just 261 yards. The Vikings had 7 tackles for loss and 3 sacks. Junior Stephen Miller paced the defense with nine tackles and a fumble recovery. Senior Ben Skelly added six tackles and forced a fumble. In volleyball, Coach Ashley Buckley's number 21 ranked team split a pair of home matches. The Augustana ladies fell to number two Minnesota Duluth before coming back for a 3-0 victory over St. Cloud State. Over the two matches, senior outside hitter Courtney Gister led the team with 21 kills. Freshman Taylor Banks run it up 39 digs, while junior Marissa Johnson had 38 assists. The Vikings now have an 11-3 overall record with a 4-2 mark in NSIC action. In soccer, coach Brandon Barkas' number 24 ranked team picked up 3-0 and 2-1 road wins at MSU Moorhead and Northern. In the two wins, Stephanie Stevens and Peyton Fry scored two goals with Samantha Timkowitz adding one. Augustana has now won seven games in a row and has a 7-1 overall record with a 5-0 mark in the NSIC. In cross country, Coach Tracy Hellman's men's and women's teams both recorded second place finishes at the University of Minnesota Invitational. The ladies were led by freshman Leah Siebert and Annie Cruz, while the men got their top performances from senior Adam Braun and Keegan Sarda. In women's golf, coach Peggy Kirby's team finished sixth out of 26 teams at the NCAA Division II National Preview in Allendale, Michigan. The Vikings shot a team score of 643 over the 36th hole event. Emily Israelson finished ninth with a 156. And in men's golf, coach Steve Clock's team finished sixth at the Jack Rabbit Invite held at Minnehaha Country Club. Parker Klitsky led the way with a 54-hole score of 222. That's our sports update for this week. When we come back, we'll talk Augustana football with Coach Jerry Oshevsky. Stay with us. Augustana Sports Scene is brought to you by Sanford Health, Mid-Continent Communications, Life Touch Photography, and Graham Automotive. When you think about preventing injuries, you think about three main things. You think about strengthening and then conditioning. Um, and finally, flexibility. When you do the same thing over and over every day, you're more prone to injury. It's rewarding for me to go to a Augustana College game or a Lincoln High School game and see people that I've helped take care of and see them back on the field and performing well. Choose the experts. Choose Sanford Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. For everything from slam dunks to spikes, 
and Hail Mary to hat tricks. The happiest devices know Midco Sports Network is the place to find the region's biggest college teams, the hottest matchups, coaches' shows, and more. Part of every basic cable subscription and online at midcosn.com. This is how the happiest devices do sports. Midco Sports Network. Click midcosn.com. I was nervous for picture day. My mom let me pick up my outfit. She said, pick wisely. I stood in line with my friends. And then it was my turn. Next. There were big lights and a backdrop, and the picture lady said, wow, nice smile. And then there was this poof. I really like my picture. Welcome back, and with me now is Augustana football coach Jerry Ashevsky. Coach OJ, the Vikings, last Saturday afternoon, uh, homecoming at Augustana, big day, big crowd, played the University of Mary. Wow, what a performance, 52 to nothing, Vikings. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a great day for Augustana. Uh, seeing all the alumni back and, and all the community that was here, uh, there wasn't any open seats in the stands, and the berm was full too, and that's our expectation of KO. I thought our kids played just just excellent football. You know, it was, it was our most complete game since I've been here, uh, where the offense complemented the defense and vice versa, and special teams equally played as well. So it was as complete a game as we've had in uh, in my two-year tenure. Well, the Vikings uh, pitched their second shutout of the season, so I think when you get a shutout, you start with defense. Coach, talk about your defense. Yeah, I appreciate you saying that. It is difficult to, to, to have a shutout at, at any level at any time, uh, and our defense certainly earned that one. The first drive, they came out in some things that they had not shown on film. I, I think they recognized that they were going to have tough sledding trying to run the ball between the tackles, so it came out in empty sets and quads and throwing it all over the yard. I'm so proud of our staff and our kids for adjusting in that first drive and not giving up points. You know, they moved the ball and got it down the field, uh, but we buckled down and got the fourth down sack, I think, by Paul Ingram and, uh, and held them out of field goal range. That was just fantastic. And from then on, every series got a little better defensively, and, and everybody played well. Right. It wasn't just a, a guy or a position. Our player of the game was Paul Ingram. Uh, bouncing back from a, an average game the week before, and Paul was just excellent on Saturday. Uh, really was assignment sharp and played fast and physical. Well, really a team effort by the Viking defense, uh, who's been playing well all season long. Over to offense, Coach. Yeah, same thing. Uh, you know, this, this game, it, we didn't start slow. Uh, we, we missed the field goal, but we had a very good drive coming right out of the chutes, and, and really uh, we only punted one time, and it was in the third quarter late. Uh, you know, we, we scored points on every drive that we had. Uh, in the football game with the exception of that one. So uh, a couple missed field goals, but I thought we were incredibly efficient. A, a duty-like workman day. Uh, really picked them apart. Coaches put together a fantastic plan. Kids executed at a very high level against a good Mary defense. You know, that, that defense had only given up 276 yards rushing in three games, and we got 279 on the day. So I was so proud of our kids, how they executed the plan, and it was it's kind of surgery, you know, yeah. we took a little pass, took a little run, and, and right. took what they were giving us, and, and I thought we just really played a, an excellent game. Well, tremendous balance for the Vikings between offense and defense. That was great to see. Let's go to special teams. Yeah, special teams was good. I mean, it was. I, I got after them uh, for a couple of weeks in a row where I thought that, that we didn't play to the standard that, that we set, and that's a gold standard every single Saturday. It's a non-negotiable victory in special teams, and uh, this week we did. You know, we really did. I, I love our our defensive unit, and just so everybody knows, uh, that, that Mary team had the number one punt return and number one kick return uh, squad in, in the league, and, and uh, it helps when you don't punt but one time. Right. Um, and, and kickoff wise, the eight attempts that we gave them, I thought our unit was fantastic. In fact, our special teams player of the week is our entire courage unit, our kickoff unit. So um, kudos to those kids for, for playing hard and listening to coaches with a lot of backups in. We had some injuries this week, so some guys were thrown in duty on Thursday, and a lot of those units and performed incredibly well. Well, a uh, tremendous part of the game that we sometimes overlook is special teams and the great performance by the Vikings. Coach, we're talking to Trey Hyde here today in mm -hmm. our sports focus. 
He's been your quarterback now for two years. It's really been fun to watch him continue to improve. Yeah, I've coached that position for quite a while, and I've been really blessed to coach some good ones. Uh, Trey needed last year. You know, he needed to fail before he could succeed, and he's gotten better every day. Uh, he's really become a student of the football game, which I appreciate, you know, coaching him, sitting down and, and getting him to understand what he's seeing. I think he's seeing the field incredibly well. You know, he's not making some of the throws he made last year. He's, he's calm in the pocket, which is a, a huge uh, kudos for our offensive line and our running backs and tight ends that are doing a good job of blocking uh, to keep him clean. Uh, but he's just seeing this field so much better, and he's throwing with pinpoint accuracy. I think to this date he has 14 touchdowns and zero uh, interceptions, and um, you know, he's leading efficiency in the league. He's one of the tops in the country right now, and, and just it's coming to him very naturally. Saturday's game was a prime example. If you watched him just pl work, it was no, no, yes, you know, and just very methodical about getting the ball downfield and taking our shots when we have them. And he's throwing the ball downfield as well as any quarterback I've had, and I've coached some Harlan Hill kids, so... Uh, he's really, really been, knock on wood, accurate you know, mm -hmm. on those vertical balls downfield with some fairly explosive wide receivers that are playing higher level than they did last year as well. well Trey, keep it going, man. Uh, the Vikings at this juncture in the season, 3-1, and one, uh, and there's a big game Saturday mm -hmm. night for Augustana, 6 o'clock down at Upper Iowa, undefeated at 4-0, and all, Coach. Yeah, Upper's a good football team. You know, they were good last year. Uh, they really were. Uh, we played extremely well in that game. Uh, defensively, we played incredible in that football game, set us up for some scores. We had some explosives. Special teams, if you remember, I think scored 14 points in that game. So... Uh, but they're good. You know, they're an excellent offense. Running back is back. Uh, you know, Chris Smith is incredibly talented and, and, and physical and fast. And their quarterback uh, has been starting there for three years now. So um, good player, a good big offensive line. Uh, it'll be a challenge to, to shut this football team down uh, defensively. Uh, offensively, we're going to have to make sure that we keep the ball in our hands, you know, go to work and, and execute it like we did this Saturday and uh, try to keep them off the field, limit their possessions, and at the same time score every time we touch it. So there's a, there's a good vibe in our locker room right now. The kids are gaining some confidence. You know, the record doesn't mean anything to us. Uh, we're going to play, you know, there's, there's a lot of teams in the South undefeated right now. We're not one of them. So it's a 1-0 football team for us. You know, we're going to come to work every single Saturday, and it does not matter to us who it is or what time we play or where mm -hmm. it is. Uh, I'm really proud of this football team, and you know we realize that we're not physically better than anybody we're playing, but we work a heck of a lot harder, I think, and that's what makes us a little special. Well, good luck on Saturday, Coach, down at Upper Iowa. Thank you. Up next, Augustana volleyball coach Ashley Buckley. Stay with us. Anderson has always put the home first, and no window is in more homes than Anderson 400 series windows. Anderson windows are tested by Mother Nature, approved by Father Time, and trusted by more builders than any other. Anderson 400 Series Windows and Doors. We make quality happen. Find a full line of quality Anderson products at the area's largest Anderson dealer, Shoneman's, Southwestern Avenue in Sioux Falls. With the many priorities in your life, your health and weight can be overlooked. The team at Sanford Health has designed a plan with you in mind. Profile by Sanford delivers a simple, effective, and sustainable solution. Our expert coaches sit with you to design your plan. If you're serious about your health, we're serious about you. The future of weight management is here. Profile by Sanford. It's our firm belief that corners are meant to be hugged, not cut. Luxury without compromise. The all-new Audi A3, starting at 29900 Experience uncompromised luxury at your local Audi dealer. Visit Graham Automotive today. We're back, and with me now is Augustana volleyball coach Ashley Buckley. Coach, last week, three big matches for the Vikings. A busy week started on Tuesday night up at Marshall against an always strong Southwest Minnesota State team. Got behind two to one, came back and won the last two. What a great victory for the Vikings! Yeah, it was an exciting match. Um, they started out the first and second set playing very well offensively. Um, their hitting percentages were very high, and you know we were scrambling to figure out ways to defend them better at the net. Uh, we made a couple of adjustments and mostly just talked about coming out, playing hard, having some fun. 
um, and being aggressive. And we were able to do that in the third, fourth, and fifth set. So I was very proud of the team. I thought that you know we were more intelligent on where we were attacking in the late sets. Um, we got after their right back a little bit to try to decrease the amount of offensive options they had. And um, you know, came out of there on the road with a victory coming back from an 0-2 te- deficit. Hard to do, but um, a very exciting night for us. Fantastic win. And then on Friday night, the Vikings were back home here against the number two team in the country, a very good one, Minnesota Duluth. And we battled them, Ashley, but they are a good team. Yeah, they're very strong. Um, I, I really like how they're playing offense right now. They've got uh, five offensive threats at the net. Um, they're pretty steady out of serve-receive as well. And so... You know, we battled them hard. I just felt like we had maybe too many errors on our side of the net. We had some miss serves at just inopportune times where we weren't able to really get into rhythm early enough. Um, and then at a serve receive, we just gave up too many spurts of points. Um, but they're a strong team, and I thought that, you know, we battled hard. We just weren't able to be consistent enough in order to come out with a victory. Well, then uh, you always worry about how your team's going to come back after a loss against a, a big team like that that you're certainly looking to hopefully knock off, but we uh, came back strong with a 3-0 victory against St. Cloud State. St. Cloud State has much improved this season, and so going into the match, we had just talked about forgetting about the night before and making sure that we were focused on what we need to do on Saturday. And, you know, they battled hard. We went point for point with them and exchanged all the way until 18s, it seemed like, in every one of the sets. And then, you know, we found a way offensively to put enough points together. I thought that we were strong on the slide attack this weekend. Um, you know, our outsides produced, and Ashley Wilson's playing phenomenal for us. So, um, you know, we're excited about the production that we're getting at the net, and, you know, anytime you can win, it's exciting, it's a good thing, and uh, certainly in this conference, it's hard to go 2-1 and one on a week with two mm-hmm. ranked opponents, so we were excited about the week. Well, Ashley, after, uh, you know, a big weekend here and coming back against St. Cloud State, the Vikings, uh, after a couple weeks where we had Tuesday matches, have a full week of practice, And we're back home this weekend. We take on MSU Moorhead Friday night, Northern Saturday afternoon. Be two tough ones again. Yeah, this is a this is a very tough weekend for us. They're good travel partners. Um, Both play well, you know, on the road, and both play well at home. So it's going to be an important weekend for us to be very steady. I'm excited to get back in the gym and practice. It feels like the last couple of weeks we've, you know, had to really think about how we can, you know, save legs so we're good for our matches. And we've had a couple of players beat up, and so. It'd be nice to have four days of just solid practice, getting better at some things, and then um, you know preparing as best as we can for these two teams this weekend. Well, fans, get over to the Elman Center, see some ex- exciting Augustana volleyball. Ashley, good luck to you and your team. When we come back, we will visit with Augustana's sophomore quarterback, Trey Hyde. We'll be right back. IMED Mobility, meeting the mobility challenges and improving the lives of people all across our region, whether at home, or on the go, even in the community. Plus, we provide local, personalized customer service before the sale, through installation, and beyond. We are iMed Mobility, and we're here for you. Start living life again, free from limitations. Give us a call or go to iMedMobility.com. Even a high-efficiency dishwasher can't remove spots from your glasses if you have hard water, but a Culligan high-efficiency water softener can. It saves you up to 46% on operating costs. For 100% beautiful glasses, just say, hey, Culligan man. When you think about preventing injuries, you think about three main things. You think about strengthening, and then conditioning, um, and finally, flexibility. When you do the same thing over and over every day, you're more prone to injury. It's rewarding for me to go to a Augustana College game or a Lincoln High School game and see people that I've helped take care of and see them back on the field and performing well. Choose the experts. Choose Sanford Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Welcome back, and with me now is Augustana sophomore quarterback, Trey Hyde. Trey, we have a lot to talk about here in a few minutes, but to begin with, uh, let's go backwards. Uh, Lakeville North High School, yep. uh, tremendous high school career, quarterback, a lot of success, had to pick a college. Why did you choose Augustana? Um, I think... It's been kind of obviously, or obvious the last few years, just kind of a pipeline coming from Lakeville to here. I mean, I think right now there's six guys here from Lakeville. You had Dej, Scal, Charlie Heller, Nevin, uh, Zach Richter. I mean, there's always been a lot of a Lakeville, strong Lakeville contingent here. And I don't know, coming out of high school, I got recruited pretty well from here. They told me if I committed, I they wouldn't recruit another quarterback. So that was kind of all I needed to hear. 
Yeah, well, and we're glad you're here. And of course, you're redshirted. Got a lot of playing time last year, starting as a, a redshirt freshman. And uh, this year, Trey, man, you've really uh, come into your own. You've had a great start to the season. Talk about uh, your progression from last year to this year. I think the biggest thing I tried to focus on this off season was just staying in the pocket and letting letting these receivers and running backs and let the O line protect me up because we got some incredible skills on our team. I think I think we have the best receiving core in NSIC and possibly the nation. And then you got the two two headed monster in the backfield. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's pretty easy. All I got to do is function out there, let them do what they can do. So and you've been doing it. Uh, I know uh, here. You know, through these, uh, how many touchdown passes? It's a bunch, and then no interceptions, and the offense has really seemed to be clicking. How are you feeling about about the offense? I mean, it's awesome. Anytime you can, I think we're averaging almost 50 points a game, just over 45. Anytime you can do that, I mean, you're clicking along pretty well, which I think it's a big upgrade from last year. I don't, I don't think we were that high last year, but I think guys just kind of bought into the system. We're all believing in each other, have a lot more confidence. I think it's showing on the field. Well, it certainly is. Uh, the Vikings have been fun to watch with a great balance between the rushing game and, and the passing game. Trey, you've been playing football a long time. What do you like about the game of football? I mean, I've played, when I grew up, I played almost any sport imaginable. I tried them all. And the one thing about football is, is, I mean, each play is only about seven seconds. And then there's so many hours that you put in for those seven seconds each play. And with, for one play to be successful, you need 11 guys to do it. So, I mean, it's buying into a group, like a, like a family, I guess is what we call ourselves. And I feel like it's the ultimate team sport, I mean, really out there. Yeah, it really is because uh, you got to rely on everybody to do their part. And uh, you're certainly doing a good job of pushing the right buttons, involving mm -hmm. the people on offense, doing the thing you're supposed to do. So keep that going. Um, let's switch gears a little bit. What's your major? What do you think you might want to do? I'm a business administration major and... I haven't had too much thought about it right now. Just you're, young. My you're, you're young. He's the guy's only a sophomore. Yeah, but I think I'll have a few opportunities for me within my family for businesses, which if I want to get involved with those after school. But I'll see where, I guess I'll see where these next three years take me. Okay, well, been around now three years. Uh, your thoughts on being a football player and a student at Augustana? I mean, it, it, it has its challenges at times. I mean, obviously, I think any student here knows Augie's. Uh, he's challenging, and then football. I mean, during the season, dominates a lot of our time. But just learning how to balance the two, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, last week I know a lot of guys had tests and papers and stuff. And I think it's pretty impressive how guys are able to handle these uh, class class loads and still come out and perform like we did on the field. So it's, it's a testament to them, I guess. What was it like uh, playing Saturday at KO? A big crowd there. Had to be yeah, a lot of fun. It was awesome. I mean, I remember warm ups. I looked over to Heller. I was like, we got. We got a big crowd up there. Yep. It's, yeah, man. I mean, I don't really know how many end up being there, but yep. the stands are full. The grass was full. It was pretty awesome. I can't wait for these next couple of games coming up. Okay. Well, Saturday is the next one at Upper <coughs> Iowa. What uh, What are your thoughts? I know you haven't had this. We're filming on Monday. No time to prepare yet, yeah. but they're 4 0. I mean, they're 4 0. Another team in SIC, so you can't take them lightly. Um, just we're probably taking them like we have it every week. And, you know, we didn't think we'd come in and beat Mary 52 nothing, but I think we knew if we. Played like we had practiced all week. Had we prepared, I mean, we're going to be pretty good. So we're just going to take it week by week and hopefully get another W out of it. All right, Trey. Well, you keep things going, man. You're doing great. So yeah. congratulations to you. Good luck yeah, here coming ahead. All right, next up, we have Director of Athletics Slade Larshai, and we'll take a look at the Augustana Sports Calendar for this week. Augustana Sports Scene is brought to you by Sanford Health, Mid-Continent Communications, Life Touch Photography, and Graham Automotive. With the many priorities in your life, your health and weight can be overlooked. The team at Sanford Health has designed a plan with you in mind. Profile by Sanford delivers a simple, effective, and sustainable solution. Our expert coaches sit with you to design your plan. If you're serious about your health, we're serious about you. The future of weight management is here. Profile by Sanford. I was nervous for picture day. My mom let me pick up my outfit. She said, pick wisely. I stood in line with my friends. And then it was my turn. Next. There were big lights and a backdrop, and the picture lady said, wow, nice smile. And then there was this poof. 
I really like my picture. For everything from slam dunks to spikes and Hail Marys to hat tricks, the happiest devices know Midco Sports Network is the place to find the region's biggest college teams, the hottest matchups, coaches' shows, and more. Part of every basic cable subscription and online at midcosn.com. This is how the happiest devices do sports. Midco Sports Network. Click midcosn.com. With me now is Augustana Director of Athletics, Slade Larshide. Slade, today we're going to talk a little bit about the Mayor's Cup, which is a competition uh, between Augustana and the University of Sioux Falls. Tell us about it. Yeah, this, uh, this past weekend we were presented with the trophy for the second consecutive year for 2013-14. Um, really an opportunity for us to partner with First Dakota National Bank as well as the City of Sioux Falls. And Mayor Huther presented us the, the trophy for the second consecutive year. Um, the Vikings won 14-5 from this past year. Well, as Slade mentioned, uh, the Vikings won the competition, uh, 19 total points. Talk a little bit about how uh, that is gauged. Yeah, it's, it's really a platform for both institutions for uh, camaraderie, but head-to-head -head competition, uh, blood drives, as well as an academic component for uh, the matrix within the point system. All right. Well, Slade, uh, congratulations on the Mayor's Cup. Congratulations on the Vikings. Keeping the foot on the pedal here, winning a lot of... Uh, a lot of games. Yeah, it's been a great couple of weeks for our, all of our programs and really proud of them uh, as we move into the meat of the conference year. All right, good luck to you. And now let's take a look at our Augustana sports calendar for this week. Friday, October 3rd, volleyball takes on Minnesota State Moorhead at the Elman Center at 7 o'clock. On Saturday, October 4th, volleyball back home again against Northern State at the Elman Center at 3 o'clock. Women's soccer is on the road at Bemidji State. Women's golf is at the NSIC Fall Tournament in Brainerd, Minnesota. And football has a big game against an undefeated Upper Iowa team at 6 o'clock in Fayette, Iowa. Sunday, October 5th, women's soccer is at Minnesota Crookston, and women's golf completes play in the NSIC Fall Tournament. And remember this Augustana Athletic information. You can hear all football games on KIKN FM 100.5, and worldwide at KIKN.com. And for tickets for upcoming Augustana home games and for complete information on Viking Athletics, go to our website, GoAggies.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time for another edition of Augustana Sports Scene. So long, everybody. You've been watching Augustana Sports Scene, a weekly review of Viking Athletics from South Dakota's largest private college. Learn more about Augustana College and Sioux Falls at augie.edu.